Let's look at probability without replacement to get the same color. In this first example, we're gonna draw two socks without replacement. So we're gonna draw that first sock, put it aside, and then go back to what's left to draw the second sock. We wanna know the probability of getting the same color sock. I wanna start by counting the colors that we've got. I've got three blue socks two orange socks, and then one each of the left. So that's one red, one purple, and one green. You'll notice that the only way that I can get a matching pair is with two blue or with two orange. I also need the total number of socks here. So three plus two is five, plus those ones give me eight possible socks. As I'm putting this together, I want the probability of the same color. So I'll do probability, same color. But there are only two colors that will work. So this is gonna be the probability of getting a blue and a blue, or the probability of getting an orange and an orange. Those are the only two cases that we've got. As I put this together, this is gonna be the probability of blue and blue, or means we're gonna add those cases probabilities together. So the probability of orange and orange. We're gonna do these two cases separate. Let's go ahead and start with the blue case first. I want the probability of drawing that first blue sock. I go back up and I look at my socks. There are three different blue socks that I have to choose from. So that gives me three favorable outcomes out of the total eight. But I'm going to take one of those blue socks, I'm going to draw it out and put it aside. Now I'm looking for the probability of blue and a blue. So now I'm going to go back in and I'm drawing for that second blue sock. Well, there are two blue socks remaining, so that's going to be times two, and there are, I've got one less sock, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven socks remaining, so seven goes in my denominator. Now I'm going to go back to the drawing board or back to the full drawer of socks and grab orange socks. So as I'm trying to grab orange socks, there are two orange socks to choose from to start. So there are two and all eight socks are back in the drawer. We're starting this new case fresh. So that would be orange and, so I'm going to multiply in orange, but I've drawn that first orange sock. So that one's gone, which leaves me with a single orange sock out of the seven that remain. So I've got one out of seven. Now I can do a little bit of math and clean this up, cancel the twos and I get a four here, cancel some twos and I get a four here. So I end up with three 28ths plus one 28th, one 28th, and that is equal to um, four 28ths. I can cancel a four out of both the numerator and the denominator, and I end up with one seventh expressed as a fraction. Let's do the marble example next. In my marble example, I'm gonna be doing the same thing, drawing two without replacement. So one marble gets set aside, I go back and draw the second marble, and I'm trying to get a matching pair. So I've got 14 red, 10 green, and 12 blue. How many do I have all together? So this is 36 marbles all together, we're gonna to call that N. So this is the probability, again, of the same color, but now I can use two reds together, I can get two greens together, or I can get two blues together. So this would be the probability of red, red, or, which we know we can add, the probability of green, green, or, so again, we're gonna add the probability of blue, blue. Let's start off with the two reds. I'm going to put this together as a fraction, favorable out of total. Well, there are 14 red marbles in that jar, so there are 14 ways that I could choose a red marble. So 14 out of the 36 total. But this is without replacement, so I'm going to cross off one of those red marbles. It has gotten set aside. So I want red and red, so I'm going to multiply those together. There are now 13 left in this jar, 13 red marbles. Total marbles, because I took that one out, there are 34. 
five. So that's our first case, red and red. Or next we're gonna do green and green. I wanna go back to the full jar. So I've got all 36 in there and I wanna start by drawing a green marble. Well, there are 10 green marbles to choose from. So there's 10 out of the 36 marbles total. But again, this is without replacement. So I'm taking one of those and setting it aside. So when I go back to draw that second green marble, there are nine left out of the 35. Okay, last but not least, we've got those two blue marbles. I again wanna go back to a full jar. Now let's go ahead and draw some blue. There are 12 blue marbles to start with, so I can draw any one of the 12 to start, and all 36 are in the jar. So any 12 out of the 36 times, but I've drawn one out and set it aside. So that means that I've got 11 left out of the 35. To make this one a little bit easier to calculate in my calculator, I noticed that I've got this common denominator of 36 times 35, which leaves me with those numerators. So 14 times 13 plus 10 times nine, plus 12 times 11. I can go ahead and put this into my calculator. As a reduced fraction, you get 101 over 315. So 101 over 315. As a percentage, it's about 32%. You guys are doing so great with these probabilities. Do take a look at this video right here. It's gonna take you through probabilities with cards. Thanks for watching.